It's tough when as a business, you're trying to create something that's brand new that might not be understood in the industry. What we are doing at Driver is attempting to create a customer relationship platform, a place where all of your customer data is stored and they go on a very unique path specific to them. My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they wanna go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 721. I'm your host, Matt Platt, but I wanna walk you down a path. A path that is the ultimate software slash platform for restaurant marketing, but more importantly, for your customer communication. I've talked about this many times, and I think if I talk about it more often, it'll become standard conversation in the restaurant industry. That is customer relationship marketing. In day 143 of my blog post, The Puzzle, mattplapp.com, check out day 143, I talk about the journey of customer data into your marketing funnels. In our business, we use a software called HubSpot, and the idea behind the software is that every single one of you restaurant owners that we come in contact with, it goes into HubSpot. Now, some of you are clients of the ABR Roadshow. Some of you are clients of AmericasBestRestaurants.com, a website listing. Some of you are clients of Driver. Some of you aren't clients at all, but you're people that have inquired about stuff. You bought my book, you got a free download, you talked to my team, or my team has said, hey, that restaurant looks exactly like one we should work with. All of you land in the same place. The idea behind that is to make sure that each restaurant has a communication journey with our company from email to text to messenger to Facebook ads to phone calls to direct mail that is going along with your journey. At one point, a long time ago, we had people sitting in this platform and this platform and in this platform and they were getting communication from every different angle and it wasn't cohesive and it hurts the relationship. Well, this is no different than it is with many restaurants. I was talking to a restaurant owner the other day who was telling me, Matt, we've got customer data being stored in our app, in our online ordering platform, in a review platform, in an email platform, a text platform, a loyalty platform. We've got people everywhere and none of them are tied together. And it's frustrating. And that is something that is notoriously a problem in the restaurant business. Customer data is sitting everywhere, many times getting cobwebs, and then many times not going down a path that piggybacks off the other. So what we are creating with Driver is exactly this. We are creating a place where all traffic flows to, drops off the customer data, and then we figure out the opportunity to take that customer on a journey. As an example, if somebody engages with a form on your website to get information about catering, they should go down a catering funnel. But then at some point, they should also be introduced to the restaurant. And then the next step would be bribing them to come in for a visit. They shouldn't be blasted with loyalty off the bat because guess what? They're not a loyalty customer. And on the other end, you might have a loyalty customer, somebody who's come to your restaurant 20 times in the past year. And let's say you launch a loyalty program aimed at that customer. They should go down a path that incentivizes them to come back more often and spend more money when they come, which on the other hand is much different than finding a brand new customer from a Facebook ad that we call customer acquisition and bribing them for their first visit. So what I'm trying to create is a brand new category in the restaurant world, something that is very common in the B2B world like we use for our company to market to you restaurant owners but something that is really needed. So that's today's podcast. Just talking about the journey, the vision, the idea. If you haven't seen our vivid vision, go to mattplapp.live slash VV and you will see what we are planning to do over the next three years. And if you want a mailed copy of that, email me matt at mattplapp.com and I will mail you a copy of that vision so that hopefully it can impact you to not only understand what we're doing, but also make you want to create your own vivid vision for your company, for your team, for your employees and your vendors to see where you want to go. That's all I got. Talk to you tomorrow.